Greetings and salutations, travelers of the internet, and welcome to the Lit Round Table. I'm Joseph. And I'm Anna. We'll be your wise or not so wise mentors for today's audio adventure into all things storytelling. And today, we're talking about a video game, you guys. Yay! We're a little behind the eight ball on this, but you know what? I just got a Switch, so I've got some catching up to do. Mm-hmm. But today we're going to talk about Breath of the Wild. Yes, I know that like right now, Tears of the Kingdom is all the rage, because it's the right. sequel. Well, I'm super excited to talk about Breath of the Wild. Me too. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite games. Uh, it w- I would have called it my favorite open world game probably before Tears of the Kingdom, and now I feel like that's going to become my new favorite, mm-hmm. but... Well, we'll get Um, into that. Before we do that, though, um, I do want to remind everyone that um, on our Patreon right now, you can vote for our next read-along book. You've got three choices, and if you're not a patron, what are you doing? Go get those sweet voting rights. Um, We've got Elotso by Darcy Little Badger. We've got... Um, a Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lynn and A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. They're all phenomenal. You can't go wrong, but we would love for you to help us decide which one to read next. So, mm-hmm. so. Yes. So help us choose, and then we will start that read along soon because yeah. the week... So when next you're listening week. to this, the next week's episode will be the final episode of... Uh, the Republic of Thieves read along, which we will be announcing the next read along on. So you've got a week to get it done. If you're Mm -hmm. listening to this on the day it comes out. Yes. So anyway, without further ado, let's talk Mm -hmm. about Breath of the Wild. Uh, I just finished it. Yeah. I also made the executive decision that I was not going to a hundred percent the game. (laughs) You didn't want to find all 999 Korok seeds? No, not especially. I did find a lot of them. I didn't write down that number. That would have been interesting. Um, But I have other stats. Oh, you did? Okay. Dang, I feel like I need to go get my game now. Okay. Um, But I did finish (laughs) 42.43% of the game. Oh, I don't have my percentage complete. Oh. Um, Sorry. (laughs) I, I got I got the stats from like the loading screen of like how many hearts and stamina wheels and shrines and Korok seeds oh, that I got. I don't, um, I don't I, have all that. That's fine. Whatever. Well, we got some different information, but it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I should have specified like exactly what stats I wanted you to bring, but that's okay. Yeah. All you um, said was stats, and I, I came with stats. <laughs> well, I got 42 out of 42 of the shrine quests. Mm. How many shrine? You don't have that information. I don't have the quests. I have the total amount of shrines I did. <sighs> well, I did 120 out of 120. Well, you see, I did 68. <laughs> you only did 68 <laughs> of the shrines? Yeah, I didn't do all the shrines. I told you. Yeah, I you did way more than, than me of like the base game. I did DLC too. Mm, um, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, but no, you definitely played more of like the base game than I did. Well, uh, like what, in terms of shrines. See, I had um, <laughs> I had found most of the shrines, and then I was trying to get the shrine quests completed, and I thought that the shrine quests were just like any shrine you found. I didn't realize that there were like specific shrines that were considered quests. Mm-hmm. Um, so then once I figured out that the shrines I was finding was not impacting my shrine quest list... I went online and was like, okay, what are the names of these stupid shrine quests so that I can see which mm-hmm. ones I'm missing so that I knew like where to start looking for them. So, which I suppose is probably cheating, but the game is so vast that I feel yeah. justified. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely, um, when I got, I got to a certain point of the game where like my armor was upgraded so far and mm-hmm. I didn't need the stamina as much. So I pretty much just like found shrines and used them as fast travel points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, <laughs> and for sure. I didn't really need, I was like, I don't even need to go in here and do this shrine because like I don't oh. need any more hearts. So I, <laughs> so oh. my shrines found and shrine and shrines completed is probably a different number or most certainly sure. is a different number, but sure. um, yeah, I completed, like I solved 68 of them. Mm. Um, I found 46 Korok seeds. 
Oh, I had way more Korok seeds than that, dude. Probably, yeah. I had, like, at least a couple hundred, because I kept going and buying more expansions on my... Right. I love that guy so much. He's so funny. He's so cute. Shakala! <laughs> He's so cute. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Um, love that guy. But, um, no, with the shrines, I... I definitely had the approach where, like, I'm just going to do the shrines that I find naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I think at the point when I was playing it, I was like, I want to play the game, and I want to beat the game, and I want to do the DLC. But I also have other games that I need to play, so I wasn't going to spend a ton See? of time doing, like, all the things. And I was like, I want to do all of the plot things, but I don't feel the need to do all the shrines. But. See, and I, it's the only game I had for a long time. So I was like... yeah. This is the game I'm playing, and I'm yeah. invested. And then once I figured out that it was keeping track of how many of the things I had, and it was right there, I got mm -hmm. to like 118 shrines, and I was like, well, now I have to find the other two, because I'm only two off. <laughs> right, for sure. Um, yeah, so. Um, some of the shrines are definitely easier than others, as far as like getting to them. So if you did all of the shrines mm -hmm. and you did all the divine beasts, mm -hmm. um, you must have max hearts. Yeah. Um, I suppose that would depend on if you spent like how you spent your shrine, your shrine things. If you, I feel like if you did all your hearts first and then did stamina. I think you can max out though. And then it won't let you do any more hearts. I don't know. It never, I never um, got told that I had maxed out. How many stamina wheels did you have? Uh, like three full. Okay, I had two. So, and I had 20 hearts. I bet you, I feel like you maxed out on, on both. I don't know. It's probably, Maybe. it's probably three, three stamina wheels and then however many hearts is probably the max. But I was Maybe. just curious. Maybe. Um, and then how many side quests did you do? I don't have that. Oh, well, I did all of them. 77. Well, all I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang it, Joseph. <laughs> I did not do all of them. Um, I did all four Divine Beasts, and I got yes. the Master Cycle, which yes. is Link's Divine Beast. Oh, I have not um, done the Master Cycle, because that's a DLC thing. It is. It is. We're not talking about um, the DLC, because I haven't done that. Well, I hey, it counts <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, the DLC well, is kind of hard, though. There's one of them is that's it? really hard that I like did not even come close to beating. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to do it now. Um, it was like a, it was basically like a combat grind thing where like you had to get as far as you could with like a combat thing. And yeah, it was tricky. Mm. Um, also to get the master cycle, it was a, you had to go through and beat this area where you would basically one shot enemies with this weapon, but they would also one shot you. So like you oh. couldn't get hit even once and like mm. people had arrows and stuff. It became a problem. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, but anyway, like that. um, what so that's like do you have any more stats to share no so share your okay. stats well i pretty much already did i had 20 hearts i had two stamina wheels 68 shrines 46 korok seeds i ended with 2182 rubies um how many doesn't really mean anything how many over 2000 oh i had over like 38000 yeah it <laughs> At the end game doesn't really matter so much. I eventually, no. I'm pretty sure I was just blowing all my rupees on like ancient arrows and stuff. Um, See, I didn't even buy very many ancient arrows because I didn't find they were as effective as if I just wailed on things with the stuff that I had. Because um, yeah. I, I feel like you had to time when you use them correctly, mm -hmm. and I could not get that timing down to save my life. So, um, and we both did all the divine beasts. Yes. Like we didn't beat we didn't beat the game without doing all the divine beasts. So. Right. No, and I I um, did defeat Ganon, but that doesn't count towards your f completion of the game, which I think is crazy. Yeah. Um. So what did you th uh, what did you think? I'm just curious. Uh, what did you think the most difficult enemy that you fought in the game was? Oh, freaking Thunderbite Ganon in the camel. Thunder Thunder Blight. Whatever Thunder Blight Ganon. Yeah. In the camel. In the camel. <sighs> Stupid camel. Yeah. Took that's me forever. Pretty much everyone thinks that's the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> I um I spent like an entire day trying to defeat that stupid thing and then had to just you know, I was like, if I leave the camel, can I come back to it mm -hmm. at a later date and try this again? Yeah. She can. Because apparently, well, 
If you haven't played Breath of the Wild and you're in the camel, it really helps if you have the rubber suit. And that's all I'm mm-hmm. going to say. I can't even remember where I found it, how I got it, but it's very important. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't have the rubber suit, but I just, um, I think I used some elixirs for shock mm. resistance. Um, See, and my downfall was that I didn't figure out how to do elixirs for forever. I think I had yeah. completely defeated, well, no. I The only, the only... I finally looked up how to do elect- elixir so that I could get up to um, Death Mountain and with the Gorons because I couldn't figure out how to get up there otherwise. Yeah, you need that heat resistance. Yeah. So you know, just spontaneously combust Not walking even heat down resistance. the street. You need fireproof yeah. elixirs. Um, yeah. Yeah, I and I, I put off like figuring out food for a long time just because I, I don't know why. I thought, oh, that's like a kichi thing you don't actually need to do. But lies. Do it. Figure it out. It's yeah. so fun. Food's important. And it's so fun. It's fun, but and it's like your it's your health. Like right. <laughs> that's how you heal yourself in I the mean, game. I mean you can eat raw ingredients, but you have to like you have to have so much raw ingredients. Yeah. And it's you a lot do of apples. You, it's a lot of apples. You do get impacted by your environment. So like if you're in extreme cold, like you'll start to lose hearts. So like you have to eat. Saute some peppers, some spicy peppers, yeah. and, and eat it for and, that cold resistance. And, like, once you start finding armor sets and, like, clothing, that kind of becomes less of an issue, like, as far as... Yes. Um, like, once you have all the gear for the different environments, like, that's not as big of a deal. But Did you, uh, did you fight any Lynels? Oh, yeah. Gobs of them. Yeah. I liked uh, all the Lionel gear and like the Lionel bow was like, I'm mm-hmm. basically spam arrows in this game and mm-hmm. also Tears of the Kingdom. I'm constantly running out of arrows because I just, I just yeah. bomb arrow, bomb arrow, bomb. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Uh, yeah. especially if I'm if I'm from above with my glider and it goes slow mo and I can slow mo arrows and yeah. just like rain hellfire on people. Yeah, that's my preferred play style typically. But yeah, all all the Lionel gear is really good. Um, I, yeah, that, that's really fun. Did you... Um, so the Thunder Blight Ganon was your most difficult. Mm-hmm. I think, um, for me, the one that I probably died to the most was that one. Mm-hmm. I don't remember thinking... I remember like reading about people online uh, complaining about it, and they kind of overhyped how difficult it would be for me, I think. And then I got to it, and it, it took me a couple tries, but it wasn't insane. Um, See, I... Because I wasn't equipped correctly, <laughs> um, I also didn't understand, like, how, like, c- there's, like, different rounds with the bosses, right? Like, the first round, you do one thing, and yeah. then you go to the next round, and you do another thing. I could not figure out how to move on to the third round. Like, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do for the second round for mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. Like, it took me forever. It took me yeah. going and doing more shrines and, like, doing more shrine quests to figure out, like, oh... This is a thing I can do. Huh. Cool. Now that I know that. <laughs> yeah. We will be doing that. Um, so the shrine quests are important as far as like teaching you how to do the game. Yeah. Efficiently. But. My, so my most difficult boss was the environment. I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was killed by the environment more than any enemy. Like yeah. falling off of a cliff or running out of stamina halfway up a cliff or running out of stamina while on my paraglider and falling to my demise. Or in I don't a, think I was ever in the paraglider that long that I. Oh yeah, dude! I was I was trying to like cheat and hack my way into every location, just the I mean, easiest way possible. Yeah, yeah, same. Um, I didn't which, use the road same very with, often. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was gliding all over the place, like getting to the top of the Sheikah towers and then just trying to mm-hmm. glide as far as I possibly could. Dude, some of those Sheikah towers are hard as heck to get to. Yeah, and so that was another thing too, like trying to climb up the Sheikah towers and then mm-hmm. running out of stamina. <laughs> so yeah, the climbing the climbing gear was one of my favorite outfits. <laughs> yeah, um, boosting that climb speed. But did you ever? Yeah, the, did you complete the um, Xenoblade Chronicles side quest? That's the stars. 
No, I don't. Oh, dude, when you complete that, you get um you get a new set of um oh my gosh, what do they call it? It's it's basically like scuba diving gear. But it huh, makes nice. it makes your um stamina go by really slowly when you're swimming. Like even better than the Zora gear. Like oh, that's it is good, because good stuff. Swimming eats your stamina so fast in this game. <sighs> it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like they tweaked it in Tears of the Kingdom because I, I feel like the stamina doesn't go by nearly as fast in the mm. water now. Good. That must have been a common complaint. Um, I I would just always forget that I had the cryonos that I could freeze the water. I would forget. I know, right? I would drown over and over again and be like, what are you doing? You could just like put ice there and go swim up to the <laughs> ice. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, another way that I've that I definitely had died before was climbing up a cliff, and then it started raining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that like the lot. most inconveniently timed rain every time. Uh, did you ever get to that island? There's an island shrine quest where you get to the island, and then you can't leave the island until you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did um, do that one. I did that, and then I had like almost beat it, and then a stupid red moon happened. <laughs> and brought back all of these villains. I was so annoyed. I was like, oh, oh no. I just like had cleared you, everything. And now, oh. you, like you already killed the Hinox and everything. Yeah, yeah. And so then of he course. came back. Oh man. Of course. That's brutal. I was so annoyed. That sucks. I also, did you ever have it glitch on you? There was a while. And I figured out like if I would restart my switch that it would fix it. But um, if I kept, if I tried to go to like one of the capes, like on the edge of the map, it would blue moon me. I would, if and not blue moon, red moon me, and then I would like the red moon rises, whatever that would finish, and then I'd go to try and get. I was like trying to bust some stupid ore. Like I wasn't doing anything, just like trying to harvest. Huh. <laughs> and, and then it would red moon again, and then it ha- would happen like over and over again. I was like, well, I guess I'm not getting whatever that ore is. It's probably a diamond. I don't know. Um, so I just abandon it. But then it Weird. started doing that to me when I was trying to get to a shrine. And I was like, no, absolutely not. So I restarted I never the had switch. that, no. Yeah. Well, Weird. Yeah. So it sounds obnoxious. It was really annoying. And it would happen like during the day. I'm like, it's not even nighttime. What is happening? Stop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were the w- and there's no bad guys around here. This isn't doing anything to me except making it so that I can't walk forward. What would you, this is a random question. What would you say was your most cooked meal? What did you cook the most? Oh, um, I want to say it was something like steak and rice balls or something, but it was probably simmered fruit because I would do that on accident. Dude, I would do (laughs) simmered fruit with just mighty bananas. Well, that's funny. And because, (laughs) well, because you would get like a 10 minute huge attack bonus. Oh, with really? the mighty bananas, oh, yeah, huh. like you get you get a really good attack boost off of those things, and so I would just, I would uh, go to the Yiga clan hideout and just like raid them for bananas. Well, at least when you first get there, when you get there at one point, you can, there's like a table with thirty bananas on it, and you just boom 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 boom, and you just pocket all their bananas. Mm-hmm. Um, that part that, was hard. The Yiga clan that was, part was very hard. Yeah, the stealth, because those guys would, like, one-shot you. Um, those yeah, big it's guys before with the swords. I got there before I had, obviously, it was, like, the second Divine Beast I tried to attempt was in that area. And yeah. so I went in there with, like, not a whole lot going for me. You didn't have the Sheikah gear or anything? <laughs> no, like I didn't you did. have anything. Yeah. <laughs> I barely had, like, warm clothes. <laughs> yeah. I was naked for a lot of this game. Not like naked, naked, but you know, like just in my like, yeah. little boxers, shirtless, yeah, for a long time. <laughs> Until nice. I got to the Sheikah village, which is like a ways. And then Pi is like, oh. yeah, uh, Paya. We love and then, Paya. And then I finally found a place to to buy some clothes. So, speaking of clothes, did you have a favorite outfit? Ooh, you know, once I got the stealth outfit, that one, I wore that all yeah. the time. That was a great outfit. The Sheikah garb is really cool. But do you know what you get if you f- if you complete all the shrines? Hmm. Did you know there's like a special bonus? Is it an outfit thing? Mm-hmm. If you complete all the shrines, all 120 of them, you have to go back to the Forgotten Temple. Which, did you ever go in the Forgotten Temple? Yes. See, that one I had to... 
I could sense it. I kept getting like the sensing thing to go off and I was like running around like, where mm-hmm. is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And so then I had to Google it and found out. It's in a ravine. Like, <laughs> well, no, I was in the ravine. I couldn't find it in the oh. ravine. So there's oh, okay. a forgotten temple. You have to like go into a hole in the ravine and go underneath the ravine. Oh, right. And then yeah. there's a bunch of guardians in there and everything. Yep. And there's like 10 of them and they all yeah. try to lock onto you at once. And it's terrifying. Yeah. It's yeah. awful. Yeah. Um, yep. But so once you complete all the shrines, you have to go back into the forgotten temple and under that big goddess statue, there are then three treasure boxes and you get new gear and it's the like OG link gear. It's like the green oh. hat and the, and the green vest and can That's hands. how you get that. Okay, because yeah. I'd seen people running around with it. I just didn't know how they got it. That's really cute. Yeah, you have to complete all the shrines. So it is really cute. Nice. Yeah. Um, Very fun. You And then I, I was like, well, do you get anything if you 100% the game? No. <laughs> so I was like, nope, not doing not. it. Not doing it. I mean, if I came um, across the- Korok Seed things, I would do them, but I wasn't mm-hmm. like looking for them. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you, okay. So you like the chic outfit. Mm-hmm. I really liked. No, I like the, the quill. I like the not the chic outfit. The the, the the stealth outfit. Yeah. Oh, is that the chic? Is it considered the chic outfit? I suppose it has. The yeah, it's on it. it's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. the one where you've yeah you your like face is covered and yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, I um, didn't realize that's what that's called. I do like that one a lot. I because I would use that one to stealth and sneak up on fairies to mm-hmm. nab them um, yep. at the Great Fairy Fountains. Yep. <laughs> um, I spent so much time waiting for fairies to float back down to my level so I could grab them. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, um, but no, I really like the snow quill outfit for like how it looked. I like especially the headdress where oh, um, yes. he's got like the feather in his hair. He looks yeah, yeah. it's cool. I like that yeah. one a lot. I ended up wearing that one a lot because you're in the cold a lot, but, and I do yes. like that one. You know what needs a special shout out? Hmm. Huh. The Gerudo yeah. outfit that he has to wear in the Gerudo town. The yeah, girl let's one. be, that's my second place. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Did you get the, did you get the boy Gerudo outfit? Did you get into yeah. that? Yeah, me too. The Desert Vo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was so confused by Gerudo Town and how the men were not allowed in Gerudo Town. And then I was like hoping that I was going to find another town that had the Vo in them. But I don't yeah. I don't think so. I, I think it's just like no. any other man that's not a Gerudo is fair game. Is a Vo. Yes. Yeah. Because so. they they eventually leave Gerudo Town to go find a Vo mm-hmm. to marry Right. I thought they um, just had like sequestered them somewhere. <laughs> but no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not at all. Like um like like our boy uh or well, lady our lady Ronson who <laughs> you have yes. to help find a mate. Mhm. And oh, I love I love every everything Terrytown was Yeah, Terrytown was great. I love the music for Terrytown. You get to like help build it. And it's just, it's so good. Did you solve the little, um, the little, like, mystery? I, I really loved the moments where you had to, like, go listen at the window for some, like, clue. Mm. And then um, to get that little girl to feel better, you had to go get the monster extract from stupid Clinton. It's gross. <laughs> yeah. Um do I do don't that? remember. It sounds familiar. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time since I played it, though, so yeah. I honestly don't remember 100%. Yeah. There but... was a dog in Terrytown that I was, like, determined to be BFFs with. I would, like, <laughs> crouch down next to it, and it would give me little so hearts. Cute. And I was like, oh. And then I would, like, leave meat for him, and he'd eat it up, and then there'd be more hearts. I was like, ah. And then he'd, like, follow me around a little bit, and I was like, I'm making a friend. That's but cute. he wouldn't ever leave Terrytown. I tried. Yeah, no. But every time I went no. back to Terrytown, I'd visit him and be like, hi, buddy. And he'd give me little hearts. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this dog. <laughs> this mm-hmm. animated dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, do you have any animal horror stories? Um, I never wanted to ride my horse because I was terrified that I would accidentally ride them off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Um, I had seen too many, like, YouTube videos and clips. Well, now on TikTok, when I was playing this, there was no TikTok, but 
Um, I'd seen too many clips of people losing their horse, but I also saw some really creative ways that people would save their horse's life. If they yeah. fell, they would like shoot the horse with an ice arrow to freeze them. And then they, when they hit the ground, they wouldn't die. Um, oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. yeah it was really well, interesting. Did you know that there's a horse fairy fountain? Did you ever find that? I did find that. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, the, I was so mad. The only horse that I had die on me was one that I hadn't taken to a stable yet. So I couldn't revive it because it hadn't been yeah. named. I found, um, did so you find uh, the big Ganon horse? I did. But before <laughs> we get to that, because okay. that is a deal, I want to just talk about my poor horse that died. Because oh, okay. he carried me forever. He like He was like... We were getting along great, but I already knew that my stable was all filled up, and this was just like a random horse that I saved from a bobbican. So, um, but I was like riding it everywhere, and then I came upon these um, moblins, and and this this moblin like tried to one shot me. I was fine ish, but my horse wasn't. It knocked me off my oh. horse, and then my horse fell over, and uh, she never got back up. And I was so oh. I, I murdered that Moblin. I was so mad at it. Oh. <laughs> and then I went over to my horse, and I was like, "Will you please just get up? I'm right here. Please get up." And then it disappeared, and I was like, "No." Oh. <laughs> it was traumatic. I texted you and was like, "This Moblin you just did. killed my horse." You did text me <laughs> that, that I hadn't even named yet. <laughs> I think. Minecraft had also traumatized me with oh. horses dying. Yeah. So I like, I didn't, yeah. So I didn't really utilize the horses as much, which is why I was constantly paragliding everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. So the Ganon fun. horse. Yeah. You told me about it. So I'll let you share about the Ganon horse. Well, I don't remember exactly where, but basically mm -hmm. you can just, you find this random horse huddle where mm -hmm. <laughs> there's this really big, black horse with like a, a red mane mm -hmm. that looks like he looks like he's leading like a meeting with these other horses yeah <laughs> and you can tame it you can tame him he's not very fast but he's got like infinite stamina um he can get fast yeah i mean he's faster than running on foot but yeah he, yeah, he has like infinite infinite stamina he's mm -hmm. huge um he takes so a lot I, to tame too like you have does. to really be on it so I I did I did get him and what do you think I named him? Oh, I don't you're know. Not, you're not gonna you're not gonna. What get did you it, name it's, him? It's a Lord of the Rings reference. Well, my first horse I named Firefoot, because um, that's, that's Aemir's horse. Yeah. Um, I love that name for a horse, Firefoot. Um, but I named the Ganon horse uh, Nehar because that oh. was the name of Orome's horse. Nice. Um, who's like this super famous horse well he's a orme is a valar in yeah. lord of the rings so like a god figure yeah but well, um yeah that's that makes that's cool that's a good choice all of my horses had b names except for the white horse who i of course named shadowfax <laughs> right. um but my first horse was bill i kept bill forever i never good. let him go my yep. second horse was Belle. I did let her go eventually because I needed room for Shadowfax. And since she wasn't a Lord of the Rings name, I felt fine giving her away. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I had um, Barleyman. Nice. And then I had Butterbur. Uh, and then I and then I got the big Ganon horse. And so I think I had to let Barleyman go and let Bray go oh. into the stable. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's another B name, and it's actually a horse name. So there we go. A kingly horse name. Yes. Exactly. Fitting. Yeah. Um, so I specifically went on a hunt for the big big horse because you mm -hmm. had told me about it. And it was taking me forever, so I did look up to see where you could find him. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, actually was harder than I thought because there's actually a king of... Because I thought he was like going to be called the king of the horses. He's not. 
He's called something the else. King of the Horse. That's like a whole other place where you, if you go there at a certain time of night, there's yes. like a bunch of glowy, glowy stuff happening, yes. and it's all trippy and like fae like. Yes. Yeah. And I found out from a side quest that if you, the little like rabbit ones, rabbits with owl faces, are called blueies. Mm. And if you shoot them, they poop out rubies. Rupees. Yep. They sure do. So, and I did tame the King of the Horses. Actually, I think he's called the King of the Mountain, but, um, I did finally get on him and I tamed him and I rode him around until another, he didn't even get killed. I just got knocked off of him from electrocution. And then he, and he is, even if you tame him, he is not like yours. So if you get off, he runs away. He will not come back to you. I was so mad. (laughs) Lame. But, um, but yeah, so I, I specifically went in search of the big horse and found him. Um, and then had to figure out how to get him to a stable. That was hard because he was not in like a very stable, accessible place. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I found out that there's a whole side quest about finding him after I found him. So I was like, Oh, I just oh, randomly shoot. stumbled. I just randomly stumbled, stumbled across. Him. Yeah. I didn't know there was a side quest for it. Yeah. So then I had to like figure out, well, how do I complete the side quest if I already found him? I figured it out, but hmm. You just have to ride him over to where the side quest is supposed to be. And then they're like, oh my gosh, you found the big horse. Giant <laughs> horse. Yeah. So. Um, who was your favorite champion? Hmm. And who was your least favorite? Hmm. That's hard. Um... And I want to differ. Okay, oh, I don't like even char- know if I have a least favorite. Okay, you don't have to have a least favorite, but <laughs> okay, character wise. Okay. Um, which one is your favorite? Mm. I don't remember his name, but I really like the Goron. Daruk, I think. Yes. Yeah. Daruk's protection. <sighs> yeah, I yeah. liked him. I liked him a lot, but I also absolutely loved and adored, and I think she's your favorite. Mifa? Yeah. Yeah. I she's like so Mifa cute. And her She's like, precious. She's and wonderful. Her little brother, Sidon. Yes. Oh he's huge. Oh. He gets huge, he's yeah. Like boy. the flashbacks where he's like really tiny. I love yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> he's huge now. Just a little boy. Um yeah, dude. Um well, I mean look at his dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, Mifa I did Mifa's first me too and so her ability definitely got used the most because it's like a a, re, a revive if you get down mm-hmm. um so i would <laughs> that got used a lot especially before i started oh, yeah. finding uh fairies so even um, when i had fairies i like i'd still get knocked out like when i would find you, lionels i'd be like i gotta make sure i've got mifa's grace ready to go if i'm gonna go find yeah. a lionel because i'm for sure gonna get knocked out once if if you have Mifa's Grace and Fairies, which one goes first? Is it the Grace and then the Fairies? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, so I really, really like Mifa. Um, and she makes Link's Zora armor, like, custom fit. And it's like, she yeah. loved him so much. Yeah, she did. <laughs> it was really cute. It's so cute. Um, and I hate thinking about, like, her getting killed in her Divine Beast by freaking Water Blight Ganon. That's such yeah. a sad thought to me. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Oh, um, although I, I do also really like, um, Urbosa as a mm-hmm. character and I like mm-hmm. the relationship she had with Zelda, how they were mm-hmm. like really, really good buddies. Yeah. Agreed. Um, Urbosa is really cool. She is really cool. Also huge. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, Gerudo Town. Did you do, sorry, this is a tangent. Did you do the side quest in Gerudo Town? Did you Probably. find? Did you find the lady on the roof eating the watermelons? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a uh-huh. fall. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Because I remember, don't don't you like see watermelon rinds like floating down the mm-hmm. water or something? And then you're like, what? Who's littering? <laughs> and so you go yeah. up. Yeah, she's just. There's a little girl munching. that if you follow her, she's like trying to grow a garden, and she's so distressed because the water keeps getting polluted by all this trash, and she keeps cleaning it up, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and then there's oh, also like the chatty it. ladies that are like has anyone seen so and so oh my gosh where is she and they get so mad at you if you eavesdrop on them but yeah she's up on the roof eating watermelon 
and you Honestly, fix her by giving her, best her life. Laundry. I mean, really, except for the littering part. <laughs> yeah, that's not um, very considerate. But right. and they're not watermelons; they're hydromelons. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, funny. I would also say that I know a lot of people really, really dislike Rivali. <laughs> oh, because, why? Because he's super arrogant and kind yeah. of a jerk. But first of all, it's like well-earned arrogance because he is really, really good with that bow. Mm-hmm. Um, and second, um, his ability is, I think, the most useful oh, yeah. out of all of them. Rivali's Gale is so useful because he, it just shoots you up in the air and then you can glide. Mm-hmm. And it's just, and you don't know how many times I, that also eliminated my need for more stamina because I could just yeah. Gale up and then like <laughs> leapfrog onto the wall, like halfway up the cliff and then climb up the rest of the way. Yeah. Um, no, his ability, I think was definitely the most useful for me. I think that they were all really useful. The one that I didn't utilize as much as I could have would have been Urbosa's. just because I Same. forget about yeah. it. Until I was like being swarmed and I'm like, well, you can't use it when you're being swarmed because if they hit you while you're trying to like charge up, it ends it. So you have to, you have to like know and like plan to do it before they know you're there, which I was really bad about. So, yeah. Um, although there were a couple of times where I get up on top of one of those like skulls and do it. That was Mm -hmm. effective. That was great. Yeah. (laughs) Um, but I, um, Baruch's protection, use that all the time. Once I had, it was the last one I got, yeah. which was a bummer because I could have totally used that like the entire game. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to get to the mountain, so it was the last one. And honestly, once you get to the mountain, it's not that difficult. It's just like figuring yeah, out no. how to survive in the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And with Rivali too. Well, you hear about like all how all these champions died by their different blight people and their divine beasts. Yeah. But I had heard from, I'd heard online that it's, it's revealed and it might be a, the age of calamity game where, um, Rivali like used all of his bomb arrows fighting his way to his divine beast. So like yeah. if, if he, if he had been there like with like all of his gear, he yeah. probably would have won. Um, but like, his bow was about to break and he ran out of bomb arrows. And so he just got wasted by it. Yeah. Wind blight Ganon probably. Is that what it was called? I think so. Something like that. Yeah. And, um, that, that is revealed in the game. Is it? Okay. I think so. Yeah. I think it's when you're in the village and they're like, I think when you're talking to the elder, maybe he tells you that. Hmm. Perhaps. Yeah. What's the elder look like? Does he look like a big old. owl? Big old bird. Yeah, he's a big owl. Um, did you get the sand boots and the snow boots from mm-hmm. little monster man? It's so annoying. Yes. It's disgusting. Yes. <laughs> he's just a misogynist. I just didn't like him. I appreciated uh, that Link didn't like him either. <laughs> yeah. Did you appreciate all the seal puns? Yes. Every time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Every time. There's a part, speaking of seals and like riding on your um, shield, uh-huh. there's a part in the mountain where you can like go uh, shield surfing. Uh-huh. And I could not figure out for the life of me how to actually do it. I just end up like running down the mountain. I'm like, well, that's not it, obviously. How do I get on my shield? Um, I don't do it often enough to be able to tell you off the top of my head. I know you have to like jump and hit, you, like maybe you jump and hit the block button with the shield and then you jump on it. Yeah, whatever. I beat the. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it out again unless yeah, I'm doing the DLC. There was no side quests or shrines attached to being able to. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah, sled honestly, the, with the shield. <laughs> so. The DLC is very optional. Like it. The reason I wanted the DLC was because I wanted, like I had beat the DLC before I actually beat the game because I wanted that stupid motorcycle. Oh. <laughs> That's um, because the motorcycle. This was all because I didn't want my horses to die because oh. the motorcycle can't be destroyed. It just you can just spawn it at will um, once the ability resets and it gotcha. consumes ancient gears or something as fuel. Oh, um, gobs of those. Yeah, and you get tons of those just every time you kill a guardian. You get like a million of them. So I did yeah. end up getting and like buying the guardian armor. Yeah, um, pillar it's head. Pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so 
in terms of like story. So you don't you don't get to see Zelda really until like the very end. I know. Um, which oh, is her sad. Dad is awful. Yeah, I'm yeah, so Rome's annoyed that he's made out to be like. In the beginning, he's like this helpful like Santa Claus dude that just like mm-hmm. is there, and then once you yeah. get to the castle and you like see the cutscenes and like read his diary, it's like oh my gosh, this guy was awful. He was so mean to Zelda. Ugh. I think like everybody was pretty mean to Zelda when like she yeah. couldn't figure out how to use her, except for like the champions. They were they were mm-hmm. good, but like. A lot of, I feel like a lot of people were like, where's your light magic, Zelda? Use your light magic to stop the calamity. Why can't you do this yeah. thing that you're supposed to be able to do? Your mom could do it. And it, it was just like, oh, you guys, you're like, she clearly has imposter syndrome. <laughs> yeah. And is like trying to live up to these lofty expectations. Um, yeah. For did sure. you have any, did you have any moments where the game made you cry? Oh, um, Hmm. I think that probably uh, the Mifa. I don't think it made me cry, but I think it made me very teary eyed. Yeah. Um, just because she was so sweet, and that was the first divine beast that I beat, and like the first champion that I set free. So mm-hmm. like that was very emotional, and then, um, maybe finding Zelda's diary. Yeah. Kind of on accident. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing I should be looking for. And then I found it. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, That was very emotional. What about you? Yeah. I think um, during, it's like the last memory, or one Mm. of of the last memories, when they're taking the group photo, and Daruk, like, smushes them all together. Yeah, Um, that's cute. I love that so much. I feel like that might have made me cry. Um. Tears of the Kingdom, living up to its namesake, um, made me cry again yesterday. <laughs> so... Oh no! <laughs> it was because it was because it was in a cutscene, and we finally heard the whole Zelda like game theme in the cutscene when someone was talking about Link, and we got the bum 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 bum. You know, we got the actual Zelda theme, mm-hmm. and I was like. <laughs> just you in are, my room you're such a sucker for music i am music if like well-timed mm-hmm. music notes and music cues mm-hmm. were like um you get like callbacks to certain things mm-hmm. and like you can tell like what the composer is doing um it's like i yeah. know that you're emotionally manipulating me and i'm letting you <laughs> i love it um yeah and i love you for it yeah um yeah just there's almost all the moments where I have cried in tears of the kingdom have been because of like a music moment. There, there have been a couple, a couple times where it's been like the actual story where it's just like that just broke my heart so bad. Yeah. Um, and then I cried, but a lot of it's been music. Yeah, that's fair. So you have that to look forward to have fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh man. Um, I don't blame you if you take a break, though, because that's a lot of Zelda. I am taking a little break. I'm taking a little break. I'm also fairly intimidated by the gameplay that I've seen of Tears of the Kingdom so far. So yeah, I was, too, with, like, is it mostly the building and crafting mm-hmm. thing? So, um, it's dang near entirely optional. <laughs> okay. I mean, there, there's some things where, like, you have to, like, to do... Also... Again, the shrines do a really good job of like teaching you how to do things, yeah. and e- eventually, like I'm at a point now where I have basically found the one vehicle that I will only ever need to build, and it's just two fans and a control stick, and I'm basically on a hover bike, and I just hover nice. bike everywhere. Nice. Um, so that's pretty much all I ever need to do. But um, no, the the game does a really good job of teaching you how to do it. Okay. So. So I don't need to be intimidated by that. No, I okay. no, and they they really ease you into it. Um, Gosh, I like it felt the, like the first day it came out, everyone was suddenly turning up with these like monster creations. It was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, people are crazy and super creative and very talented. <laughs> yes, but also crazy. Um, yeah, I've never, I have, I have not built an entire mech suit that I've just like ran <laughs> around. 
<laughs> and terrorized Hyrule with. Right. Like, there are videos um, on TikTok of people being like, watch me one-shot this boss with this, like, massive thing that they've created. It's yeah. like, oh my gosh. Or they're like, welcome to the <laughs> Bacoblin Grinder 9000. And it's just, yeah. like, a bunch of spikes spinning. and <laughs> yeah. 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 That's just goofy. <laughs> silly mm-hmm. um but no the game is the game is really really fun the abil- so you know how like in breath of the wild you have the abilities that you can use like the magnesis mm-hmm. and the the bombs and mm-hmm. the cryo whatever um same thing in this one but the abilities are different um and Peace they are bombs. not um no they don't ah, have dang. bombs but they use it a lot <laughs> they they do it a little differently so um Instead of like buying bomb arrows or flame arrows, you attach you attach things to your arrows to make it a bomb arrow. Mm. So you find um, you find bomb flowers, which is a plant, and then if you attach it to your arrow and shoot it, it becomes a bomb arrow. Nice. Um, okay. So that's so that's I, I like that a lot actually. But so the abilities are different. You don't get bombs, but you get you get the ability. It's called ascend, where you can like look up at the ceiling, and if there's a a place where you can pop out the top unobstructed, you can just zip through the ceiling of places, oh, um, which makes funny. mobility way better. Um, sure. There have also been a few times where I have been in a cave and then I'll use that to just get to the top of the mountain or cliff or whatever I'm inside of and I'll just and he'll he'll be like swimming through the ether and then he'll pop out the top and he like (laughs) when you pop out the top you can choose to either fully ascend or go back down and bail and I popped out and there's this big Lionel standing two feet away from me (laughs) and I was like (gasps) nope (laughs) <laughs> I went back down. Down. no funny. thanks I, I still only had like three hearts so <laughs> <laughs> i'm not prepared for this yet <laughs> yeah no way yeah. no way That's um funny. okay but no there's the the abilities are fun um there's also an ability i just got where you can um look back at your build history and just like rebuild something that you made with your mm. building That's stuff nice. That's nice. um so you don't even have to like remember as much um um, not Impa, the other one. Paya? No, 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 the other one. The one that's in the, um, observation tower. Pura? Is she a baby? In Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah. No, she's a babe. Oh, okay, so she, so she stopped the, because in the, in, in, uh, Breath of the Wild, she keeps regressing in age. <laughs> so she figured um, out how to grow up again. That's good. Yeah, she... She in you can find her diary in this one too. She Ooh. she got you herself find her diary in Breath of the Wild too. Well, you can find her updated diary. Nice. She managed she managed <laughs> to um up upgrade to. She was like, I'm back in my 20 year old body again. Nice. So that's funny. Um, yeah, when she has she has quite the reveal when and you meet her very early on, like almost okay. immediately after the tutorial. So okay. and it's like scripted. So like you will meet her and okay. when. Uh, there were a lot of rea- like TikTok reactions to that uh, character awesome. reveal. Um, I've been to trying to avoid Tears of the Kingdom stuff as much yes. as I can, unless avoid, it's just like, like a random plague. like look at this thing I built. And I'm like Korok torture. Yeah, freaking out over here, man. <laughs> That's so mean. They're so cute. Oh man, it's so funny though. Um, gosh, is there anyway. anything else? Anything Breath of the Wild related? Um, I thought that the last boss was a little underwhelming. Yeah, compared Ganon to the was others, so easy compared to some yeah. compared to Thunderbite. Yeah, so easy. Um, um, I almost beat. I almost fought him twice because I. <laughs> so once you beat him, it puts you back outside of the throne room, and I wanted to just right. go look at the throne room. So I tried to go back inside, and the whole thing started over again. And I was like, what? And I had been texting you. you yeah. I think you just hadn't gotten the text yet or hadn't read it yet. But yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah, you can't like once you beat the game, he responds like you can't exist yeah. in, in Hyrule without Ganon there. So like, yeah, and you, as you, you can go back that, and keep beating him. <laughs> as you sent that, I had wandered back into the room and yeah. I was like, what? <sighs> and then I was going to text you and you had texted that. So I was like, oh, OK, yeah. OK, OK. So I can like get out of this. Yes. <laughs> you still got the credit. You still got yeah. the credit for beating him. Your file still has the star on it, so you're yes. fine. I was like, do I really have to do it again? Because that was also, 
I was also texting you when I first beat him, and then I was like, I beat Ganon! But I didn't know there was a horse mm-hmm. part after that. So I hadn't really beat him yet. And you were yeah. like, that's really easy. And then I died, like, in the first ten seconds. But it's because I couldn't yeah. figure out how to... I was having... it. I, I was distracted, because I didn't... I was texting you, and I didn't hear the explanation on what I was supposed to do. So I... Mm-hmm. I went into the fight with nothing. So, but once I once I pay attention to what I was supposed to do, it's fine. It was easy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it was it was kind of just a, a gimmicky fight with like, oh, here's yeah. this light bow, and you ha-. so like it was very. Yeah. Eh. Like the last fight was get, eh. You don't get the light bow back. Like I wanted to go back into Hyrule with the light bow. I know. I've seen a lot of people try to glitch the game so that they can leave that fight with mm. the light bow, and I've seen mm. it done, but, like, the game is kind of broken. Like, you can't actually, like, do anything or have fun because Ganon's still, like, stomping around in Hyrule Field. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. That's and, funny. like, I don't think, I don't think any, of the, any of the NPCs reacted the way they were supposed to. Like, a lot of people were T-posed, I think, oh. like, because you're not supposed to be able to leave that area. Right. Um, but, That's yeah. funny. Anyway. That's but, uh, funny. yeah, man, Breath of the Wild, one of the best open world games, which Tears of the Kingdom, I think, is a, is, I know people were giving Tears of the Kingdom grief. They're like, oh, it's just DLC. I'm like, no, it's, it's, it's an upgrade. It's, it's everything Breath of the Wild was, and then some. And it's been so cool to go see all of, how all of the characters have grown over yeah. the years. And, um, I'll yeah, it's just great. that I was like, once I had unlocked all the map, I was like, Oh, there's no more map to discover. I know. Sad. Same. I, one of the first things that I always do is unlock the whole map <laughs> because I can't stand not being able to see, like if I have a quest that pops up in an area where I can't see the map, I get, it's really annoying to me. Like I mm-hmm. want to know how to get there. So that was the first thing I did with, with Tears of the Kingdom too. Is I went through and I unlocked the whole map. Okay. Do you remember when we were first talking about Breath of the Wild? And I was like so frustrated by the first part in the Great Plateau. Because I could not figure out how I was supposed to find the shrines. And they kept telling me mm. to use my scope. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Use my scope. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you how long it took me to figure out how to scope. With the right joystick. You were like three divine beasts deep. Yeah, no, I wasn't that far, but I was definitely <laughs> okay. like in it. Because yeah. um, I like would figure out. I don't know. I was doing it really inefficiently for a long time, and then once I figured it out, yeah. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I want to go back to the Great Plateau and try this again and see how easy it is." Because I basically just spent like forever running around the Great Plateau trying to run into shrines, because I didn't mm-hmm. really know what they looked like even. <laughs> Yeah. So I was like, what am I even looking for here? I don't know. Um, also, did you know that you can sort your inventory? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't figure that out until after I'd beat Ganon. Bummer. So every time that I would like try to cook something, I'd be like, oh my gosh, where is the fish? I have to like just <laughs> scroll through and have to like scroll through all these uh. monster parts. And then I figured out the, and then like the armor, I was like, why can't all the armor pieces just be next to each other? Yeah. Well, if you sort them with Y, they are. Yep. So um, that took me too long to figure out. And it was literally on the screen the whole time. I just didn't read the screen. So That's another improvement. I feel like um, the user interface is, is a little more easy to navigate in the new game, too. So is it? You have that to look awesome. forward to as well. I mean, because I when, I was going through, when I was going through trying to like look at my stuff for Breath of the Wild, I was like, oh this is not nearly as intuitive as the new one. Like I have to scroll through all this stuff to get to what, like this is silly, but yeah, yeah, they improve it a lot. Well, once I figured out how to sort it, that also helped a lot. So if you haven't Mm -hmm. played, well, first of all, if you haven't played breath of the wild and you've listened to this whole podcast, hi mom. (laughs) Well, hi mom, but also like, I'm sorry. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But you can sort your inventory. (laughs) Uh Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I love Breath of the Wild. It's a great game. It is really good. I'm it's glad. Really I'm so too. glad that got to be your your first foray back into modern gaming. Yeah. Um, Breath of the Wild. Such yeah. a good pick. It is a good pick. It, it so does what, kind of set the bar a little high. It does. But so. um, all the games that I suggested to you are all also very good. I know. I know. 
what have you made a decision on what your next game will be? I have, and I've already started playing it. <gasps> so, are you ready? Secrets. To, yeah, are you ready to go you into? Told me. Well, because I was saving it for the podcast. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can go. Let's go into what we're watching, <laughs> reading, playing. So then you can okay. tell me. Technically, this is my episode, so you can go first. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm watching Critical Role Campaign Three. Yes. Um, watching Banana Fish with you and Hope. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, also Demon Slayer ended. Um, yes. We got the oh. season finale for Demon Slayer, and what an ending to the season! Did cry, for sure. I knew oh you would. Oh my gosh. I had read the manga, so I knew it was coming. I even, I sent you a picture too of the manga panel, and I was so happy with how like shot for shot it was. It was so good. Um, I was so as the episode was going, I was so mad at myself that I hadn't caught up on the manga. Yeah. I didn't know what was going to happen, and I was so worried about one of the characters that I was like, "Oh my gosh, this can't man!" Be and they it. and they really when Hope and I were watching, we we're like, "Man, they really." are trying to fake people out that haven't read the manga because they gave us like flashbacks of earlier mm-hmm. interactions with this character. And mm-hmm. we got like this heartfelt flashback moment when we, th- right when we think that they're dying and yeah, it was very dramatic. Yeah, um, it was, it was awful, but then they <laughs> lived, so good. but yeah. So Demon Slayer, love that show. Um, reading, uh, the Republic of Thieves, which I have now finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't say anything because I have it. It didn't yet. take long. It didn't take long to uh, bulldoze my way through the last uh, couple pages of that yeah, one. I just needed to um, do it. Yeah. So we'll have a lot to talk about. Is it um, just, is it a satisfying ending? I'm not saying a word to you. A satisfying ending doesn't tell no. me anything. But for I, yeah, the, I, for the nobody listeners. told me anything when I had to read it. So you get to read it blind, just like okay. me. Okay, um, fine. You just, dear listener, I'm sorry Joseph doesn't want to like tell you if it's a good ending or not. No, because that's a spoiler. <laughs> um, so, I've I need to get back into Promise Neverland. Like I have two volumes of the manga just sitting on my shelf that I haven't gotten to read yet. But Tears of the Kingdom has you know, yeah, it's it, been a it, thing. It does that. Um, which is my playing, <laughs> and that is pretty much it. And D and D. Um, yes, the dragon egg is still there. Um. We are about to raid a castle, Ooh. and that we are going to die. But it's Ganon okay. Ganon <laughs> is in the castle. Ganon will yeah. eat you. <laughs> Pretty much. Found out that there is a red wizard oh. in the castle. Okay, Ganon is in the castle. <laughs> and we are toast. We are dungeon rings, but it's okay. Um, I've got some. I got. I've got the revive spell now, so maybe I'll get to use some diamonds and nice. <laughs> revive some people. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. So, okay. how about you? Yeah. So for me, I have been reading. Um, we just finished "How So Many Ways" by by mm-hmm. by Diana Wynne Jones. So good. Like of the House Moving Castle books, I think this one is my second favorite. First one being House really? Moving Castle. Castle on the nice. Air was good, but House of Many Ways is so good. Nice. Um, I'm also reading Finally Seen by Kelly Yang, which is mm-hmm. a middle grade book um, about a family of Chinese immigrants. And um, it's it's really good. Like, breaking my heart, mm-hmm. but really good. Yeah. Um, also reading Republic of Thieves. Mm-hmm. Scott Lynch. Um, I read, oh, I read the um, Ford Stone Critical Role book. Nice. And the Not the Brave one. Both very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the art style of both of them. Oh, that reminds me. I need to I need to burn an audible credit to listen to Robbie Damon read the Molly Mock book. <laughs> yeah. Or the, the, Lucian, the, the Lucian book. Yeah, I need to do that too. Um, and then what else? I had, I got a bunch of stuff that I read mm-hmm. and now I'm drawing a blank. So I guess that's what you're going to get for what I'm reading. Woo. So, playing. um, <laughs> for watching. Oh, I thought we'd done that already. <laughs> no. I forget that you start with reading. <laughs> for watching, um, Critical Role Campaign 3, Demon Slayer, Banana Fish, which I told a coworker about. And he thought I meant bananya, which I didn't. I didn't know what that was. But 
It is so cute, you guys. It's a cat that lives in a banana. And it's called Banana. And it's adorable. Wow. And each episode is only like three minutes long. And so if you ever just Silly. need like like <laughs> serotonin, yeah. like instant injection, Banana. Banana. It's very cute. Um, or I watched the newest season of Black Mirror. As always, that's a trip. <laughs> Super rated R. Yeah. And you're at your own risk. <laughs> yep. Um, and I would say, like, mixed reviews for me. Like, some mm-hmm. of the episodes really hit. Some of them I was like, meh. That was weird. But not, like, in a Black Mirror, like, that was epic weird. But in, like, a, nah, that was just weird. And I feel like there was something else. Oh, um, not watching per se, more listening. But um, I don't know where to classify it because it's not a book, but it's a TTRPG. Um, Brennan Lee Mulligan, Abria Iyengard, Erica Ishii, and Lou Wilson have a podcast, mm. Worlds Beyond Number. Oh, I forgot about and that. And I've been listen listening to, to it, and it is so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it blows me away. I love all of them. It's I love Lou Wilson. Phenomenal. Dude, you got to get on it. It's great. Okay. And it's free on Apple Podcasts. So, I mean, if nice. you get on their Patreon, there's extra stuff, but mm-hmm. e- even just listening to it is amazing. So, yeah. um, really good. I'm on like the third episode of that, I think. And nice. they're long. You know, they're like D&D episodes. So. Yeah. Do they like play a game or are they just talking about? No, they're things? playing. They're like okay. in character. Abria's nice. character is like this. She's so good. I love Abria so much. Yeah. And Lou's good. They're all so good. They're all so good. Mm-hmm. Brennan is DMing this first one. Sure. So. But I think they're all going to take turns. I think they all have DM. <laughs> nice. Experience. So. Um, and then for playing. <laughs> I am playing a game that you did not recommend. So I'm How sorry. dare I know. you? Look, I was trying to do Undertale. Like, I was looking for Undertale. Mm-hmm. But um, I think I'm going to end up getting the downloadable version, which I'm, like, not super jazzed about. Like, I want, like, the real, like, the version yeah. version of it. But I think we're going to have to just download it. So while I was thinking about that, I stumbled across a game called um, Ori. And there are two of them. I've heard of that. And I got the Ori collection because it looked pretty, and it is very pretty. You're basically like a little glowy spirit lemur. Nice. Um, and uh, the first one is Ori and the Blind Forest, so that's the one I'm playing now. Ooh. And it's very cute. The monsters are very scary. <laughs> um... I did not fully understand the mechanics of, like, how to upgrade your abilities right away, but I have finally figured that out, so we are mm-hmm. trucking right along, which is great. Um, yeah, the art's really phenomenal. So, would recommend. Nice. You're, like, it's kind of like Mario in that you're, like, just running on a screen, but you can go back and forth, and you can yeah, go down. Yeah, it's a 2D platformer. Okay. Yeah. And up, and the map is pretty involved. So far. Mm-hmm. Um, and you get like percentages on each section. So anyway, it's really fun. So recommend nice. Ori and the Blind Forest. Well, even though I didn't recommend it, I'm, know, glad I'm, that you, I'm glad that you were playing a game that you were having fun playing. I know. I'm sorry. I forget. I didn't, I didn't mean to not pick. I really did mean to pick Undertale <laughs> for <laughs> the next one. Well, it'll be waiting for you. But I know. I did, I did get my Nintendo account all set up, mm. uh, which was kind of funny. But it took you until after beating Breath of the Wild to set up your Nintendo account. Well, that. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you first turn on your Switch, you have to like give your user a name, which I yeah. did. And then when I set up my Nintendo account, I just had oh, the name you sent me a Snapchat match. about that. Yeah. And I picked. I wonder if you can change it. I don't know. I, I mean, I think it's funny. I just didn't know I was going to get emails with my goofy kid childhood <laughs> nickname. Yeah. But it's not That funny. is a little weird. Feels weird. Yeah. That's all I'm playing. Well, fun. Because I've beat Breath of the Wild, at least by my standard. You did it. You beat did Ganon. It. I did. 
wanted a short be, piece to be all the shrines and all the side quests. Mm-hmm. Fun. So. Very fun. Well, um, I hope you all enjoyed listening to us rant about Breath of the Wild and Zelda. Yeah, Super fun too. game. Um, you know, sometimes we do things that we really enjoy and we just have to rant about it for an hour with each other. So. True story. True story. That was the whole reason why we started this podcast was because we did. We, this was a conversation that we would have normally just had over dinner. <laughs> True. You know, I'm kind of bummed that it like has to be over FaceTime and it can't be over like fried mac and cheese and yeah, a burger. burgers. Yeah. But that's okay. There's a bar in our hometown, yeah. you guys, that has really good fried mac and cheese and burgers. <laughs> yeah, and like the ranch they use is really good too. I don't know how they do it. It's all but, about the ranch. Yeah, the ranch is good. Just, um, next time I'm there, we're going to have to do that. Yes. Agreed. So, anyway, uh, until next time, uh, go finish reading Republic of Thieves. And play something cool. And play something cool. And we'll talk to you next time. Later. Bye. The cleanest outro we've had in months. <laughs> <laughs>